For every successful movie in Hollywood, countless others have never made it to production. And then there's the middle ground of movies that are shot but never completed. The film industry has a long reputation of unfinished screenplays or abandoned projects because of expensive production costs, script issues, and a hundred other reasons, or just plain bad luck. Today, we bring to you the top 10 movies that started filming but were never finished or released for one reason or another. Before we get on with the video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss more fun videos like this. Number 10, Revenge of the Nerds 2006. I want my money. I know, I know, I'll give you the money as soon as I get it. To the relief of many fanboys around the world, the Revenge of the Nerds remake was canceled almost as soon as it went into production. Meant to be a new take on the original cult classic production company Fox Atomic was aiming for younger viewers and hoping to launch the new cast into stardom the same way the original did. After just a couple of weeks of filming, production was halted in 2006. Emory University in Atlanta was meant to be one filming location, but officials changed their minds after reading the script, which was awful. The movie was to star Adam Brody, Katie Cassidy, and Kristen Cavallari, among other young and up-and-coming actors of the moment. 20th Century Fox has made it pretty clear that this remake will never see the light of day. Number 9, The Shadow King, 2013. The Shadow King is one masterpiece we may never get to see. Helmed by Henry Selick, the director of the acclaimed stop-motion film Coraline, The Shadow King had all the makings to be a success. The movie followed an orphan with unusually long fingers who figured out that he can make shadows come to life. These shadows then become his army in a shadow war. The boy must defeat a shadow monster before it destroys New York. As crazy as the premise sounds, anyone who saw Coraline knows that this would have been a visually stunning film and compelling story. Unfortunately, after spending $50 million for budget concerns and other unknown reasons, Disney pulled out of the project. Though The Shadow King was originally set to come out in 2013, it has stayed in limbo ever since. Number 8. The Day the Clown Cried, 1972 Here's some rare footage of him arriving in Stockholm in traditional goofy Jerry Lewis style to scout locations for his new film, The Day the Clown Cried. Possibly one of the most legendary unfinished films, The Day the Clown Cried follows an ex-clown, played by Jerry Lewis, who is imprisoned in a concentration camp. This unfinished film has been the topic of discussion for film buffs and critics for years. Many consider this film so bad that it actually might be a masterpiece. Aside from the usual production issues of budgeting and conflicting ideas, Lewis said himself that the film was terrible. He admitted, You'll never see it. No one will ever see it, because I am embarrassed at the poor work. He may not have stayed true to his word. Before Lewis died, he donated a copy of the film to the Library of Congress in 2015, under the condition that they do not allow the film to be viewed until 2024. So, while we may have to wait, the full cut of this film could be released after all. Number 7, The Works, 1986. Before Toy Story, from the Computer Graphics Lab with the New York Institute of Technology, we almost got a very different first-ever 3D computer animated feature film called The Works. The film was worked on between 1979 and 1986, and had it been a success, would have predated Toy Story by almost 10 years. Unfortunately, timing and a misunderstanding of the film industry played a big role in the failure of The Works. It had nowhere near the proper planning and technology that Pixar would later pull off. The works team consisted mainly of programmers and computer engineers. They made the mistake of not including creative professionals and it ultimately led to the film's downfall. Around the same time, George Lucas created his new department, Lucasfilm, which was working on similar computer animation tactics. CGL ultimately realized that it couldn't compete with Lucasfilm and other bigger studios who understood what it takes to make a successful movie. Only 10 minutes of the works was ever created. Number 6, Nailed, 2008. <laughs> Though it was ultimately recut and released as Accidental Love, David O. Russell's original film Nailed remains one of the writer-director's unfinished products. Russell was so disappointed with the new version, which was completed without him, that he only allowed his name to be attached to Accidental Love under the pseudonym Stephen Green. The movie stars Jessica Biel as a waitress who, because of a nail stuck in her head, becomes an unpredictable version of herself. It also stars Jake Gyllenhaal as a corrupt politician. 
The original project Nailed started filming in 2008, but with many setbacks, Russell quit in 2010. Critics and audiences highly disliked the final cut of Accidental Love, making it clear that Russell's hatred for this version was well-founded. Number 5. The Man Who Killed Don Quixote 2000 If you love fear and loathing in Las Vegas, it may come as a disappointment to know that Terry Gilliam almost gave us a follow-up film starring Johnny Depp called The Man Who Killed Don Quixote. Although the movie has now been reshot with new actors and released on the 1st of June 2018, we'll never get to see Gilliam's original undertaking. Even after securing the money for the film, Gilliam ran into problems. The shooting location located near a military base caused issues with the audio recording. A flash flood destroyed production equipment and changed the color of surrounding cliffs, causing consistency issues in filming. To add insult to injury, many actors didn't show up to set at all. It was a failed attempt on all fronts, and after only a couple of weeks of filming in 2000, the production was cancelled. Hopefully the newly revamped 2018 version made this 18-year wait worthwhile. Number 4. Divine Rapture 1995 The first AD knocked on my door and said that I was wrapped. And I thought, oh, okay, I'm wrapped for the day. And he went, no, no, you're wrapped. That's it. Film is over. It's gone. As many unfinished films show us, money is everything. Budgeting issues have been the downfall of many could-be incredible films. But sometimes quitting while you're ahead is the best choice. Unfortunately, in the case of Divine Rapture, they never got ahead. Divine Rapture was meant to star Johnny Depp, Marlon Brando, and Deborah Winger. Though the film had a strong cast and could have been a success, the destruction of the Irish town Bali Cotton, where filming took place, has forever tainted this movie's image. Two weeks into filming, production company Cinefan ran out of money. Not only did they stop the project, but the consequences for the Irish village were dire. The failed production almost bankrupted the small town, and a documentary by Bally Brando recounts all of the film's issues. A gravestone sits in Bally Cotton, written as Divine Rapture Born 10th of July 1995, died 23rd of July 1995. R.I.P. Number 3. A Justice League Film, 2007 in 2007, Warner Brothers planned to have Mad Max director George Miller make Justice League Mortal. It was before the time of Zack Snyder's reign and Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice was just a twinkle in Kevin Sujihara's eye. The movie was going to have DJ Katrona as Superman and Army Hammer as Batman, Megan Gale as Wonder Woman, Adam Brody as The Flash, Common as Green Lantern, Santiago Cabrera as Aquaman, and a bunch of other superheroes. But unfortunately, the timing didn't work. The writers' strike stalled things at Warner Brothers, and they were depending on Australian tax rebate legislation to shoot the movie. But it didn't work out. Number 2. Revenge of the Jedi 1982 When George Lucas was looking for directors for the last film in the Star Wars trilogy, Return of the Jedi, or Revenge of the Jedi as it was then called, he approached two young directors known for their uncompromising visions, David Cronenberg and David Lynch. But Lynch declined Lucas's offer to direct Dune, and Cronenberg later did the same, directing Videodrome and The Dead Zone shortly after. Many years later, Cronenberg would explain why he turned down the offer. He said, You're restricted by the format that's been established, and so for an inventive or innovative director, that's being put in a straitjacket. There is little doubt that Lynch felt the same way, and while he moved on to a similar sci-fi project, he was afforded much more creative influence than Lucas was surely offering. Number 1. Fantastic Four 2015 The Fantastic Four catastrophe of 2015 wasn't the first movie that was rushed into existence in a bid to keep hold of the rights to Marvel's oldest superhero team. Faced with losing control of the property, German producer Bernd Eichinger hired Hollywood indie legend Roger Corman to create a movie on a $1 million budget. A trailer was released and the movie was teased at Comic-Con, but for reasons that remain unclear, the movie never came out. Eichinger hung in there and eventually got to produce the proper 2005 movie and its sequel, while the elusive Corman film became something of a legend, eventually spawning a documentary called Doomed. Which of these movies would you want to see? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and turn on post notifications to see more of our future uploads. Be sure to subscribe to Series Polls for more top 10 videos.